let me present before you a medical legal topic postmortem also called autopsy what is postmortem and what situation and circumstances support postmortem is done CRPC 174 and 176 subsections deal with uh, the act of police and uh, the magistrate in question and the procedures that are involved to conduct postmortem. So what is a postmortem? When death is suspected, when the doctor is unable to determine the cause of death, he is not in a position to issue a death certificate in regard to a cause of death. So when there is an element of suspicion, even the smallest suspicion, then the postmortem is a legal mandate. So therefore, in order to ascertain the cause of death, what has caused the death? Whether it is homicide, is it suicide? What are the causes? Is it a murder? Is it an accident? Or is it a, a fall from a building? Whether the, such a fall is due to a push? Or is it a suicide? Or is it slip? So all these details will be ascertained only after the post-mortem is conducted. So post-mortem is very significant to ascertain the cause of death. Especially when there is a suspicion, even the smallest of suspicion. So it is the duty of the police to necessitate legal uh, procedures to conduct the postmortem. So doctors conducting the postmortem will examine the dead body in order to ascertain his identity first, in case if a face is damaged, destroyed beyond recognition. So to identify him and to identify the injuries and to check if there is any poisoning and to check if there are any blows and to check other causes such as if he is uh, pierced by a knife or if he is run over by a vehicle in an accident or if he is put, if he is murdered and then he is thrown in the highway which is later on run over by a lorry or a car. This act is done in order to show the murder as an accident and escape from the clutches of law. And in, in order to take away his uh, property, if he is murdered by the act of poisoning, there are several causes. So in order to determine, in order to bring out the details of the death, the post-mortem is carried out. Section 174 and 176 of CRPC deals with the procedures that must be followed during the conduct of postmortem. So therefore, postmortem is uh, especially in suspicious death. It is a legal mandate and in case in a hurry in order to close, in order to hide, in order to escape from the crime, if postmortem is not conducted, if postmortem is not conducted in a hurry, if it is buried, then it will be exhumed for the postmortem as may be necessary. 